So f let's remind ourselves, Fabien Galtier, Sean Edwards, France beat England, uh, lots of young talent coming through. Yeah, great back line, DuPont, mm. uh, you know, Fakatara at outside centre, they've moved Fiku to the wing, you've got Intermac at 10, it's a, it's a, a highly talented French back line. I, 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 I love watching them play, I have to say, I've really enjoyed it. And, but they're a young side. They're, they're not the finished product themselves. And I expected them to drop a game. I was very surprised it was a Scotland game, but I expected them to drop a game. Now, how they're going to turn up after such a long break, who knows? Now, they're playing tonight a friendly against uh, Wales, so we'll probably learn a lot more after tonight. And they've picked their full side mm. to, give them, it's, it's to give them a hit out so they, get right, so they haven't, haven't held back, full selection. So it's... It's the best way I could say this is a wonderful challenge for this Irish side because it's a good, a very good French side, very well coached, and they're a side that's on the up. Mm. So Ireland will have to be at a considerably higher standard than they were tonight to win. That is, but they are very capable of that. So it's, it, it's a fascinating game. The, the beauty is we don't know. We don't know these things because of the break. Mm. We didn't know how Ireland would turn up. How, are they going to, how much more are they going to improve after that one week? We don't know. We want them to improve, but we don't know. So it's a, it's a fascinating week's rugby for everyone, mm. you know. And, and maybe the Barbarians going out having a few beers the other night did Ireland a favour, you know. I'm not sure they feel that way right <laughs> no, now. I'm no, I'm certain they don't. Can you believe it? What a bunch of Muppets doing that. But, but England, now, they don't have a warm-up game. Mm. So is that going to reduce England by 10 points next week? So it's a, it's, it's a fascinating week. I, I can't give you the answer. We'll have to live it for the next till next Saturday night to find out. Yeah. Two years ago, it was Johnny Sexton and the drop goal. One of the great moments, really, that we'll ever see from an Irish team. Uh, what are you making of this French team? Yeah, much like Matt, I think I, I've fallen in love with French rugby again because you've sort of got the, the mixture of power and, and champagne rugby again. I mean, they've produced, I mean, particularly that Welsh game, you know, some of the tries. Intermac is growing into that role at 10. Uh, really pulling the strings and, and being unpredictable. So it's intriguing, as Shane Jennings pointed out, completely different task, completely different test for, for the Irish team. But the great thing is we have, have players on that panel that have won, mm. you know, won a game in Ireland. So uh, there's absolutely no fear factor, but it's just important that Ireland go there with the mentality of winning, not looking to get the four tries straight away. So final point, Matt, it's difficult sometimes against Italy to know uh, yeah. how much confidence you can put in the conclusions you might draw from the game. What do we know for certain from today? Well, when you beat Italy by 50 points, everyone says you should, and when you don't, everyone says you should have beaten them by 50. So they did, they put themselves in a strong position for next week. They're alive in the last week of the competition, and that's, that means their destiny's in their hands. So when your destiny's in your own hands, there's a lot of empowerment comes with that. And Ireland have got a really positive shot at, at winning the championship. And even if they don't win, if they go and just win in Paris, that's still a huge positive for Irish rugby. OK.